Hello everybody, Silver Picker here and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now today's video is a very exciting unboxing video and I don't do too too many unboxing videos but this one is going to be really really awesome. So I actually opened up the package already because I didn't realize what it was when it came in the mail and that's a good thing. I think all silver and gold shipments should come in very nondescript packaging. You don't want people stealing your packages so that's a good thing. But I did not actually open up the box inside yet, and I'm going to do that live on camera right now. So, what's in this bag? This bag, my friends, is an investor crate. Now, for those of you who don't know, one of the really, really popular things online right now are all these different crates and boxes, which are basically subscription services of goods for different collector communities. So for example, there is a loot crate for video game and, and gaming enthusiasts. There's a battle box, which is for survivalists and outdoors people. And there's a million other ones, birch box, etc. There's so many different subscription services available but this is the first one I've ever seen for the precious metals, gold, silver, coins community. And it is absolutely, absolutely awesome. So the folks over at Investor Crate actually sent me this crate to open up on camera for you guys so that you guys can get a sense of what comes in a typical Investor Crate and you guys can decide whether it's something that you guys would want to get for yourself or as a gift for family, friends, etc. as the holiday season approaches. So let's take a look inside together and see what they sent me. All right, so I like I will say that I like this kind of basic bare bones look with just the, the hand stamped investor crate. Our treasure is here. I like that. I like that. So, moment of truth. Bum, 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 bum. And a whole bunch of cardboard. Now, hopefully, there are the goodies inside. Let's take a look. Ooh. Not too bad. Not too bad. Look at that. I see some gold, I see some silver. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, I think I got it all in one. Look at that, that is nice. All right, let's see what we got over here. Let's save this gold bit till the end. Okay, first thing. We've got a 2018 United States American Silver Eagle. One ounce fine silver. Look at that beauty. This is my first 2018. All right, we got ourselves a one ounce 999 fine silver. United States of America. Silver Buffalo. That's pretty cool. I've seen these before, but I've never had one. That's pretty awesome. Wow, that is awesome. I've always wanted one of these. You know, I've never had one of these. These are the Silver Krugerands. We got 2018. It looks like another one right below it. That is awesome. That is so cool. I love these national silver coins. These coins that countries actually produce as their one ounce standard silver coin. I love the United States American Silver Eagles, of course. I mean, ASEs are like the be all and end all when it comes to one ounce nationally produced silver rounds. Uh, the, the Canadian Maple Leaps are awesome, the, the Mexican Libertads, etc. And I've never had one of these South African Krugerands, and I am just over the moon that one of these was in this box. See, I think that's the benefit and the bonus of having uh, a subscription service where you sort of don't know. It's like a grab bag where you get stuff that you haven't purchased for yourself and you wouldn't have necessarily gone out and bought, but that you're really, really happy to get. That's great. And it looks like we got another one. It's the same year. 2018, that's awesome. Ooh, these are beauts. I love these. I think I've, I've told you in previous videos how much I love the Canadian maple. I mean, they are spectacularly gorgeous. It's got that sort of frosted background and it's got that beautiful, beautiful high finish shine on the maple leaf itself. And of course, these have four nines, 9999 as opposed to 999 fine silver. Might as well get that last 
uh, one thousandth of a point of, uh, of silver, am I right? Also 2018. And last but not least for the silver, we've got ourselves another maple leaf. That is absolutely awesome. Really, really awesome. Look at that. And it looks like we even got a little bit of gold. I mean, a really little bit, but hey, you know me. A precious metal is a precious metal. More gold than you had before is better than less gold, and more silver than you had before is better than less silver. So I am absolutely ecstatic with this, in spite of its tiny size. So it looks like these are actually very, very tiny Canadian maple leaves in gold, and they are one gram coins. Wow, that is so cool. I have never seen this before. This is so, so cool, and it's got a little um, serial number on there as well. So it got a couple grams of 9999 fine gold coins from Canada. That is so cool. You know what this gives me an idea for? These, I mean, in terms of their value, of course it's worth the exact same amount as any amount of gold, just prorated for its size. But the cool thing about this is these would make incredible stocking stuffers or like little, little bonus gifts to any holiday gift you give because the actual dollar amount is not that much. Uh, you could afford to get these for family and friends. That is so cool. What a good way to get somebody started in, in gold if, uh, if they're on a budget. All right, so look at what we got. This is fantastic. We ended up with six different one ounce silver rounds uh, from three different countries, all nationally minted, which is fantastic, and two one gram gold coins also from a national mint. And I think that there is a huge distinction between generic rounds and rounds that are minted by an actual government. And for those of you who are new collectors out there, the reason is because you can trust the governments to put the accurate amount of, mu of silver or gold into the coin. You can trust that you know exactly what the content is. There's no monkey business as there might be with some generic rounds. So they're highly recognizable, which makes them a lot more liquid and of course gives them a little bit of a premium. So I think that that is a huge pro, a huge, huge pro to this box. Another pro, which is my favorite of course, is the fact that you get a variety and you don't know what you're gonna get. And I love that. I love that mystery. I love the excitement uh, when you just open up that box and see what's in there for the first time. You know, of course it's great to get something and to order something that you know what you're getting and open it up, that's fun too, but there's definitely something great about like a mystery grab bag. Um, and, and I absolutely love that. Another thing that I like is that you can get both gold and silver while you're on a budget with this. I mean, they have different options. You know, they have different subscription options where it's 50 bucks a month or 100 bucks a month. So it's really, really eminently doable for anybody that's, that's working and wants to put a little bit of their salary into gold or silver. This is a great way to do it without thinking too hard about it. And if you're a new collector, you get exposed to so many different things. So I think that that's really, really good. I think the only thing that I would do differently if I were them is I would include a little card with a description of each of these different coins and, and a little bit about them. Because for a new collector, this can be kind of confusing. For those of us who have been in the gold and silver game for a long time, you know, we know what Krugerrands are, we know what ASEs are, etc. So it's pretty easy for us to know what we got when we open it. But I think that the only thing that they could do much better would be to include a card that explains it. What do you guys think? So I would love to hear your guys' feedback in the comments section. Do you think that this is uh, something that you guys would like? Do you think this is something that you guys would order? I'd love to hear if you guys decide to get this for a loved one or for yourself as a nice gift for uh, the holiday season. So hit me up in the comments below and let me know what you think. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the Silver Picker Squad, I have very much enjoyed sharing this unboxing with you. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up and share the video. It really, really helps me out when you guys do that and it, ke it keeps me making videos that expose you to more stuff about the precious metals, the picking, the silver, the gold, and the coin collecting communities. So, in addition to that, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. And if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. 
Hit the bell next to it and join the Silver Picker Squad. We learn about all sorts of things relating to coins, relating to precious metals, gold, silver, investments, picking, and basically just finding ways to make a little bit more money on your own terms, becoming that much more financially independent and financially savvy. That's what this is all about, sharing information and having a good time while we're doing it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, Silver Picker out.